Let's move on to 4.05 p.m. Eastern. Las Vegas Raiders 2-7, and 0-5 oh on the road at Denver Broncos. 3-6, and 2-2 and two at home at Empower Field at Mile High, Denver, Colorado. 43 Fahrenheit, sunny, 6 miles per hour. Uh, Sharpie, back to that game we just talked about. It says, how do you talk letdown when Washington's 4-1 and one over the last five? And Sky Dragon says, how's that total 40? It seems way too high. Lots of food for thought in that one still to work on. But we're in the afternoon slots now. Raiders, Broncos in Denver, Colorado. Nice weather in Denver for this time of year. 43 Fahrenheit, sunny, 6 miles per hour. Let's move over to the line history in this one. We have over at Pinnacle. It opening up with Denver minus 2.5. It's still there. Uh, they're showing a 3 at plus 108, which is just a 2.5, really. From a totals perspective, it opened up 41 as a pick There's been a one-cent move to the under. One-cent move to the under. From a total standpoint, we have 3,076 tickets in. 60% of the tickets are on Denver and 93% of the cash. Wow. Small sample size, but 87% of tickets and 99% of cash on the under. And... You know, we know what Andy's been doing with the Broncos games, and I've been going with them, and they're eight and one to the under. But let's start with the Raiders coming in off their third straight loss, 25 20 home to the Colts. All three losses came as favorites to teams with losing records. Derek Carr finished 24 of 38 for 248 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Broke down during the post game news conference. And I don't know what to make of it, really. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess what I kind of like maybe it's just nothing and who cares but I guess when it came down to it I was like you know what I guess I'd prefer my quarterback not crying at the press conference yeah I'd, 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 I agree you know just man up and just be tough and uh, but yeah maybe it's just not that big of a deal uh, Devonte Adams did all he could and he played well Devonte was trying hard man nine catches 126 yards one touchdown was making something out of nothing. Josh Jacobs ran 21 times for 78 yards, touchdown, caught six for 28. The defense couldn't put enough pressure on Matt Ryan. One sack, one quarterback hit, both delivered by Max Crosby, who finished with 10 tackles. Uh, he's the only one doing anything out there. This defense is terrible. Uh, Denzel Perryman rib and hip injuries was placed on the inactive list before the game. We didn't know that was going to be the case, but this defense just looks so bad. Broncos coming off a 17-10 loss at Tennessee. As we said, 8-1 and one are the unders. Uh, the one game that it didn't go under was this matchup. 32-23 for the Raiders against the Broncos. And that game messed me up. That game's messed me up. Now, now I see the Raiders, who they really are. But for whatever reason, it just kind of – I had some sort of a vividness bias of that football game. And I was like, well, if the Raiders can put up points against that Broncos defense – oh, it's hurt me. They've lost five of their last six. Five losses have come by a combined 21 points. Russell Wilson, 21-42, 286 yards, touchdown pick. Cortland Sutton caught six for 66. Kendall Hilton caught four for 62. Jalen Virgil, 66-yard touchdown was his lone catch. But the run game struggled. You know, uh, they lose Jerry Judy. <sighs> he missed seven games last year with the high ankle sprain. He was lost on the first offensive play, and it's his left ankle. And it looks – I mean, he's not going to be playing this week. Uh, this offense – not getting in the running game, not getting in the passing game. They were 4 17 on third down. They did nothing. You know, uh, they held Derrick Henry. The defense looked good 53 yards on 19 carries. He'd run, had five straight 100 yard games. They scratched Justin Simmons, their safety. They scratched him, and PJ Locke made his first NFL start. Uh, Baron Browning also not in the lineup, but he's been very good when he's been in. Uh, they lose Billy Turner, their right tackle, to a knee injury. Did not return. We'll find out more tomorrow. And Graham Glasgow, he hurt his shoulder late in the third. So then all my talk about, look, uh, Glasgow is going to be better than Cushenberry. And then they lose Glasgow, and he's replaced by Luke Wattenberg. who He was their center when push came to shove when you needed to get that win. And he's played one snap all year. And now if they don't have Cushenberry and they don't have Glasgow, I don't know how anybody could bet on them. I uh, uh, take it away for us, Andy. I mean, I don't know how you can bet on either team, Raiders, Broncos. I bet the under. 41 and a half. It's 41 and some sharp books. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going back to go out and score 21 points, Denver. Like, go go prove me wrong. Get to, get to 20. Let's see you do it. I don't know. Like, the fact that they're on a, a third string center, Russ looks discombobulated half the time. The defense, despite trading away a piece and having some injuries here and there, is still very, very good. It's an elite defense, a horrible offense, 
Judy's out. And yeah, the, the, the Raiders outside of, it's kind of turned into the Rams where, Hey, Cooper Cup was great, but the team stinks and they lost again. Same thing. Like, hey, Devonta Adams is a really nice addition, and he had a good week, and they lost again because they they got outscored by ten. Like the Raiders, yeah, these teams are both in such a bad state here. This uh, this is this is an under for me. I'm surprised this isn't. You know, it's a uh, it's a tough spot for the Raiders to go play at altitude. I know they do it every year and they're fine with it, but you go to play at Denver early in the season, it stinks because you're maybe you're, you know, your cardio isn't quite there and late in the season it stinks because you can end up with weather. It's, it's at, at a true home field advantage. Ah, yeah, this is, this just screams kind of the, the same scoreboard, the score line we saw in the last Raiders game or excuse me, Broncos game where it's, you know, just an, another 17 to 10 game. So, Getting on the other side of 41 felt pretty good. I got a cheap minus 107 on an under 41 and a half here. Yeah, it's still available right now under 41 and a half at minus 107. Why is this not 39? Because the Raiders defense is so bad. Is that why? Yeah, I, I think maybe it's it's finally like, hey, maybe this is a spot where the Denver Broncos offense gets going. But now it's like, but you don't have Judy. Russell Wilson looks like he's he's lost half the time. They looked kind of horrid last week. I'm, I'm not sure how you just suddenly get it going. Um, it, it's a bad defense, but it, it's not an offense. It seems to have a game plan. Like it just it, 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 you're you're on your third string center, like we said. You lost to wide receiver, and the game plan sucks. The play sequencing, the play calling, and the play execution, like all three parts of everything, putting this game plan together, have just stunk out loud. And yeah, both these coaches probably shouldn't be coaching at the start of next year. Yeah, I I don't know how we do, just go right back to the well on the under 41 and a half. I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, fine. I'm fine just doing it every week until it stops. It was, yeah, I, I think. I'm, I think playing, right yeah, I'm playing with house money on Denver under, so I'm, I'm there. In saying that, though, I guess some books have moved it to 41. Let's just move over to what's pinnacle. Yeah, Chris, I mean Chris is down to forty-one flat, so it's it's starting to see some movement that way. I'm not sure this crosses forty because of the just the the fact that the Raiders' defense is pretty bad. God, it feels like a oh goalie. The goalie's out in Buffalo. Okay, all right. That's uh some ugly, ugly game 